Sometimes the most humorous moments in beekeeping happen when the camera is not around, such as earlier this week when I came out to string trim around these hives. My usually gentle bees were on the attack and covered me head to foot. Even though I was fully suited, I still got stingers right through the suit. They were grumpy bees. And I have an interesting theory with regards to grumpy bees. So if you've followed this channel, you know that I kept bees for about 25 years before retiring and then getting back into the bee world. Uh, I developed when I was young a theory about bees being grumpy one day and nice the next and vice versa, and that was that it had more to do with the age of the bee. When a bee first emerges, uh, they're very gentle, very kind. In fact, when they're swarming, it's mainly these nurse bees filled with honey that you run into. After a bee ages a little bit, uh, it has to go out and work. And I think just like humans, the older it gets, the grumpier it gets. And uh, when it's raining out, or it's the evening, or it's the morning, or there's dearth going on, these are the bees you run into in the hive. Uh, on bright sunny days with a lot of flowers in bloom, you just run into the kind little nurse bees. So it's more who's in the hive at the time that you open it up that's going to determine whether it's a nice or bad experience. Unfortunately, it's a time of dearth, and uh, it's kind of hard to work in the heat of the day, so I end up working in the morning and run to grumpy bees. Good wait. Today I was trying to do a fast assessment of the hives and uh, also replenish the peppermints that we had put in the previous week. Uh, hopefully they were doing some good with the hive beetles. Well, we'll see. We'll take a look around. Whoa, my! It never fails that you run into a surprise when you least expect it. Population explosion on this one. It had a pretty big hatch out. This thing is now packed with bees. It's still got some weight though. Can I get them down enough? A couple more peppermints in there. I don't know. It's early morning. I don't want to disturb them too much. But if it's the smell of the peppermints that does it, well, then maybe all we have to do is drop one on top of the screen. So I've got to figure out how to get. Um... Oh boy, these are really stuck. Toss a couple of minutes in. I gotta figure out how to get some uh, additional resource on this hive as far as uh, supers go, and I don't have any. No, that's not good. Wow. Lots up under the under cover on this one. It's very common with these screen top inner covers to find bees on top of the inner cover. They can get in between the outer cover and the inner cover. However, I've never found any dead ones up there, so they, they apparently eventually figure out that they're not going to get through the screen and they come around and go through the entrance. Otherwise, we would find deceased bees up there. And that's not the case. Well, swarmy hive is packed full. Bees have no way of chasing the hive beetles on the upper top of when they're on top of the screen like that, but um, now, hot humid day, we're gonna do some bottom board checks and clean the bottom boards off. There we go. Well that was a moth. I see a hive beetle or two.
moth. Another moth. Ugh, got away from me. No beetles. We could wash these boards down or flip them at some point, but I'll probably do that when I get close to an OA treatment. It's just been too hot to do OA this week. I don't want to seal the hives up when it's that hot. Definitely not seeing the population of hive beetles I saw last week. I'm seeing what looks like dead hive beetles. I'd be interested to open these guys up and see if they actually eat the mints. <laughs> Again, this is one we had hive beetles in last week. I see one. But, uh, interesting. We still have ants in this hive. Lots of ants. Might be a time for a little boric acid. I think there's ant colony down here somewhere. But um, the hive itself doesn't seem to have ants in it. Yeah, look at them all. Well, again, let me refresh my mind on the top colony strength here. It certainly looks like the bees are eating the mints. I mean, <laughs> I've never heard of any problem with bees uh, being poisoned by the mints. But they're right on them, chewing on them. Let me take a weight on this hive and make sure it isn't starving. hive is lighter than I would like it to be. I'm just going to look at a few of these frames. This was an extracted super. I want to see if they have anything in there. There's actually two extracted supers on top of each other. They have some nectar stores. So they're not at the verge of starvation. And this is the upper super. They would put anything in the bottom super first. Boy, lots of ants downstairs. Not seeing them making it up into the hive. But despite the early morning and the cranky bees, I think we're good on this hive. But there was a lot of open honey or a lot of open cappings. So um, that smell was there, and the ants do seem to be coming in from the bottom. No. You know, I've thought about opening that up down there, but what's going to happen is the bees are going to come out, and I'm going to, you know, kill quite a few putting it down. They're active. They're keeping the ants out of the top. So we're just going to let these guys be. After thinking about it for a bit, I decided the best thing to do was to take this upper super, which had been extracted and had a little bit of nectar in it, and move it over to our overcrowded colony. Uh, certainly there was enough honey in that second super there, from what I could see, uh, so that they weren't going to be near starvation. Uh, and they had the ant problem to deal with, so a smaller surface area gives them more bees per inch to deal with it. And I'm probably going to come back and uh, do a little bit of boric acid underneath the hive. We'll get to that in a future video. But for now, we'll take the super off of this guy. And we'll put it on our overcrowded colony, which should, well, give them a little bit more breathing room. I tried to keep things moving at a pretty steady pace. After all, this morning, our grumpy bees were home. And uh, I didn't give them, want to give them any reason to do another stingathon like the string coming earlier this week. But this was a win-win situation uh, because now there was a little bit easier breathing room in, in the big hive and uh, a little bit less area to cover in the smaller hive. So, as I say, we'll be back for the ant treatment and uh, we'll see you all next week for another glorious adventure at Buzz Park. I feel a little bit better moving a little bit of empty space over to that super packed hive too late in the season for swarms. I don't want anything going on. 